Looking to chase away those winter doldrums? You can at the 35th Annual Indianapolis Boat Sport and Travel Show, now through Sunday at the State Fairgrounds. You'd expect to see a huge variety of boats, RVs, sporting and camping equipment, but did you know you'll find everything you need to make your dream adventure a reality? You could win a $50,000 lake cottage, a $14,000 pontoon boat, or other prizes. There's over 375,000 square feet of adventure at the biggest and best sports show anywhere. So get up and go to Harry Renfro's Indianapolis Boat Sport and Travel Show, now through Sunday. Hello, I'm Bill Estes, Bill Estes Chevrolet. And as the new volume Chevrolet dealer, on March 1, we'll be taxed on over $5 million in new and used cars and trucks, unless we sell them first. So we're adding huge tax savings to volume discounts and factory rebates to make now the time to consider Bill Estes Chevrolet. Corsicas with air and automatic for $97.68 and S10 pickups from $138 a month. Selection, service, and price. Bill Estes Chevrolet, the new volume Chevrolet dealer. The Bob Knight Show is brought to you in part by Federated Insurance. Federated, right to right. By Indiana National, where you can get more for your money at 50 locations throughout the metropolitan area. And by Indiana Bell, a member of the Ameritech family of companies. Remembering the good times costs nothing, but means so much. Push me, Daddy. <laughs> a puppy. Oh, Daddy. Good old boy. Dad, I met a boy tonight, and I think he's special. Hello. Hi, Dad. Annie, I was just thinking about you. These are the good times. Share them not so long distance with Indiana Bell. Offensive play often gets the most attention in basketball. Yet defensive coverage is going to be the key to how well a team does in a game or in a season. Coverage, the right coverage, is just as important for your business needs. And to get the absolute right coverage, you've got to go through Federated Insurance. They have the right report. It's just another way that Federated writes it right. Call Ted Sassy in Evansville and Jim Sewan in Valparaiso. Carmen the Seals Bears here from Bob Powers Toyota. What are we going to do with all these cars and trucks? We must reduce our inventory before the March 1st tax deadline, eh? We'd rather sell them than count them. Take advantage of Bob Powers' guaranteed lowest prices now during our huge inventory reduction sale. The largest selection and the lowest prices guaranteed. We've got the touch to save you money, she. Bob Powers Toyota, just north of I-70 on Shadeland Avenue. Pretty bad. Now there's a better way to stain wood siding. Weiss pre-staining. Weiss pre-staining uses machine coat by Olympic. And Weiss pre-staining has a high quality finish. Choose from over a hundred custom colors and get maximum durability with minimum maintenance. All the result of a superior long-lasting stain. Machine pre-stain before the siding is applied. If you are building, ask your builder about Weiss pre-staining or call us direct. We're the mark of excellence in pre-stained wood siding. Weiss pre-staining. Welcome once again to our program, and we're very delighted to have you with us. It's one of these periods where... It's... I'm just happy to have you here. <laughs> Thank you. We've started this show three times today, and Chuck hasn't been here. He's been wandering around Assembly Hall. Uh, he was watching practice. He was helping uh, uh, Benny with his hook shot. <laughs> then he worked on uh, uh, Edward's jump shot for a while, and then he was showing uh, Hillman how to drive. We've been trying to get this show... Uh, underway here for about an hour and Chuck's kind of tired and and you can see that he's a little <laughs> bit flushed tired. and sweaty uh, because of all the work that he's been putting in on the floor so we're just really happy that Chuck's here well you mentioned Benny but Benny's gonna be on the program. Kent Benson will be on the program later on um, let's talk about the week coach and since last Sunday against Purdue and now later this afternoon within a couple of hours it's going to be Michigan well you mean later Sunday afternoon now, later Sunday this is <laughs> This is Thursday evening okay. that we're doing this. All right. Yeah, later Sunday afternoon. Well, there's something about... Well, I'm just trying to stay honest with the folks out there. Uh, well, you know? I'm trying You're to keep you honest. You're being honest to the program. I'm just trying to keep them up to date, you know. Well, but uh, there's something about television that you people make all these situations as though it's happening immediately. I mean, we don't have... This is not 
uh, even instant replay. <laughs> I mean, we've done this on Thursday, so in case we followed up in a number of ways, we got Friday and Saturday yet to tape it. Well, but I'm merely thinking of the fans sitting there Sunday at noon watching it. Uh, he doesn't relate to Thursday very well, but he does if we say today or in a couple of hours. Okay, so, so, Chuck, okay. I, underst I understand the <laughs> TV language now. All right. Um, your practice sessions this week, same length. I I've been down a couple of times this week, but I noticed that you have sort of broken them down into smaller groups, uh, uh, slowing the boys down a little bit, uh, uh, trying well, to keep... We've when you go from Sunday to Sunday without playing in February, uh, the one thing that I think we have to be careful of is over practice. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that we can put too much time uh, into it simply because we have the time to put into it. And I'll explain that phraseology by simply stating that when I was at West Point, occasionally we'd have a holiday. And I thought it was just automatic that we practiced twice. If I had to do that over again, I'd make sure that that never happened. I'd mm -hmm. practice uh, uh, early in the, in the afternoon uh, to give the kids a morning and most of the rest of the day uh, away from basketball. Uh, here, with this kind of time frame that we have, Sunday to Sunday, uh, we did not practice at all on uh, Monday. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, our practices lasted a little over uh, an hour, uh, maybe uh, up to as much as an hour and 15 minutes on Thursday and then Friday and Saturday about the same amount of time. We did an interesting thing uh, in practice uh, in the middle of the week. I got the players together and I said, all right, let's go over the Saturday preparation that we had for our game uh, last Sunday with Purdue. We came in and we practiced from 11 o'clock until noon. Tate, really good practice, and we played extremely well in practice, much better than we did the next day in the ball game. Then we came back about 4 o'clock and walk through things for approximately an hour till five o'clock. Let the players go eat, then brought them back for another half hour or so. And I was talking to the players about what kind of a time frame we wanted to put together for uh, Saturday's practice prior to this game with Michigan. What did they think of the Saturday last week and getting ready for uh, Purdue? You know, when you've got uh, a Friday workout uh, what we normally do is just come in and work at 3.30. We're done a little after 4.30. Mm -hmm. We walk through some things. We go eat. We come back. Uh, while the players are eating, we sit down as coaches and see if there's anything that we've neglected to go over or anything we have to reinforce or what exactly do we want to talk about in a 45-minute walkthrough session that sometimes we just hold in a classroom here in Assembly Hall. Sometimes we go out on the field house uh, floor and do it out there. If there's no one in uh, the floor in the assembly hall. We obviously would use it, but we probably had more walkthroughs in the classroom off our locker room uh, than any place. It's big enough, and we just set up where the basket is and walk through what we want to do uh, defensively. So our players, uh, in, I think Joe Hillman was the first to make the comment that last Saturday we practiced at 11 o'clock, and then we were done until the game, that everybody just kind of sat around from noon until the game the next day, which was approximately uh, 26 mm -hmm. or 27 hours. And Joe thought that we might be better off practicing later in the day so that we get up, we come in, we talk about the game, we walk through some things, we look at some tape, and then maybe we come in about 3.30 in the afternoon and go through things for an hour or so on the floor. And that way we're just not sitting around. So, so instead of 24 to 27 hours, it's down to not 14 hours. Or, no, it would be more than that. It would be uh, 20, uh, 21 or 2 or hours until game hours, right. time. But yet we have extended the day a little bit. Joe mm -hmm. felt that there was just too much time in the day. All of a sudden, we're over with what we've done, and we had really worked well, and our practice had gone extremely well on Saturday morning. And as I said, I didn't think that we took advantage of, of a couple of situations in the Sunday ball game with Purdue nearly as much uh, as we should have. We had some really good things available to us that we just didn't capitalize on both uh, in the first half and at the start of the second half. So that's something we'd like to avoid in this game with Michigan. Okay, now, in the middle of the week, Wednesday, uh, Eric Anderson dislocated a thumb. What is his status for today, Coach? Well, the thumb uh, was jammed all the way uh, back into the joint. And to give you a little bit of an idea of what we try to do uh, with these kids, uh, 
uh, our doctor, uh, Brad Bamba, looked at it and really didn't want to fool around with it. It was something that a specialist had to handle, and so we sent him to uh, Dr. Jim Strickland in Indianapolis, who's probably uh, as good or better than anybody in the world when it comes to working with hands. And uh, Jim worked with it and, and uh, uh, very quickly had it back in, in place. No surgery. No surgery was required at all. He understood the... Uh, actually, that, uh, that's his specialty. And what he was able to do was uh, have an anesthesiologist uh, numb the entire arm to relax the arm uh, and to put the arm in a position where Jim could work with it any way mm -hmm. he wanted to. And so he was able to maneuver the thumb to get it into a position where he could put it back in its proper uh, position. Uh, it's sore. Uh, Anderson will work uh, throughout the remainder of the week, and then uh, hopefully we'll be able to play uh, on Sunday. He got hit right on the tip of the thumb, which is kind of a, he's got pretty big thumbs and it had to be extremely rigid to be just jammed right back. Usually the, you get hit here and you might break your thumbnail mm -hmm. or get hit here and you might hyperextend it by taking it back too far, but this just jams it right straight back, almost like hitting a nail with a hammer. Mm -hmm. I told, uh, I told Eric that uh, Kent Benson was in practice on Thursday and I said, Eric, uh, when Benny was here, he played with a broken wrist, a broken bone in his foot, and a broken transverse process in his back. Not all at the same time, but at different times, so a jammed thumb kind of pales in comparison to that. Well, Benny's coming up here in just a moment. And Coach, uh, been over in Italy, and it's, we're going to have a chance to talk to him. Well, Benny's been always one of Indiana's uh, favorite players, and it's been a while since we've had him here, and he's back uh, uh, rehabilitating an injury of his own before finishing up the Italian season, and we just thought that everybody would enjoy Chuck and Benny talking, and we'll take a break for just a moment and be back for them to do so. Indiana National, on the subject of connections. It's not what you know. And it's not who you know either. It's how you bring the two together. Indiana National connects you to the most complete network of people and resources with the most convenient services to tie them all together, putting the shape of your financial future in your hands. Indiana National, more for your money. Winning basketball takes sound fundamentals. The soundest business fundamental is a winning insurance plan. To help you find the best coverage, Federated has the right report, a comprehensive analysis that enables you to invest your insurance dollars for the protection of your business. Call your Federated representative now to see how Federated writes it right. Call Don Thacker in Elkhart and J.P. Cruder in Greenwood. WR Air Services began by personally handling your critical air freight shipments. Then we expanded into trucking by offering guaranteed overnight LTL service in the Midwest. Now, with the completion of our public warehouse, WR Air Services is able to meet your storage requirements. Whether it is a few cartons to free up that necessary office space or a major distribution program. So throw a call my way. <laughs> a call. A phone call. Those of you who have followed the game of Indiana basketball for many, many years, and if you date back to 74 through 1977, remember this guy. We call him Benny. Kent Benson, who has just endeared himself to the hearts of not only all of Indiana fans, but professional basketball players around the nation, uh, more recently with Detroit, but now Benny's home from Italy for a while. Explain why you're here, Benny. Well, Chuck, I, uh, I played over in Italy this year uh, for my first uh, European experience and was excited about what was going on over there and uh, enjoyed some success uh, in the Italian league. And unfortunately, uh, I, I got injured and uh, injured my knee and uh, strained the ligaments in it and continued to play on it and got it to the point where uh, I ended up tearing some of the cartilage. Mm -hmm. And uh, Dr. Steve Offell, one of my former teammates here at Indiana, uh, did a great job of, of uh, uh, fixing it for me, and uh, it's been about 12, 14 days now post-op, and I'm just doing great. And you're planning on going back over. Your team's doing pretty well. Too. Team's doing very well. Uh, 
the last game, anyway, uh, previous games, I don't know, but uh, we won a big one yesterday, and uh, we're in the semifinals of the European Cup, uh, the Courage Cup, and uh, it looks like, uh, well, our team beat Bob McAdoo's team, and we've got one more game with them, and that will hopefully springboard us into the finals, and by the time we're ready to play our uh, first game of the two-game series in the finals, I'll be ready to go back. Mm -hmm. A lot of people look at uh, the Italian tour, the European tour, as just an extension for a professional uh, basketball player. Uh, you're getting more out of it than just that, are you not? It's quite an experience for you. It's a, quite an experience. Uh, I'm getting more out of it simply because uh, when I retired from the NBA uh, last summer, at the end of the season, I had no intentions of playing basketball again. And along came the Italian offer, and they basically made an offer I couldn't refuse. And, I looked at it in, in many ways that it uh, provided a, a great traveling experience and educational opportunity for my, my not only myself, but for my family. Mm -hmm. And uh, we took uh, great advantage of that, and uh, it was a great experience. Uh, unfortunately, my wife uh, at the time was pregnant, and she wasn't uh, able to get around as much and as easily as uh, had she not have been, and, and adjusting to mm -hmm. the uh, different culture. but. Uh, it's been a great experience and uh, even got some, some business started over in, in, in Italy. Well, you entrepreneurs, you know, you take advantage <laughs> of every opportunity you've got. Absolutely. Let's talk a little about your injury. Let's talk about injuries to athletes. This last week, Eric Anderson came up with a dislocation on his thumb. We've already talked about that a little bit, too. But uh, uh, there's a trauma, both physical and psychological, I guess, that happens to a player. When, when something like that does happen, and there has to be something that you as an athlete gather up from within inside you once you realize that you can play, as you're not going to hurt yourself any worse, something like that. And you've got to sort of play through that psychological trauma, do you not? Absolutely, Chuck. I think uh, any time you, you experience an injury like Eric's or, or, yours. or mine, uh, the first thing is regaining your confidence in the fact that you're not going to hurt it any more than what it's already hurt. And that decision has to come from the doctor, first of all, telling you that if you go ahead and play, you're not going to uh, hurt yourself or ruin your career or mm -hmm. something like that. And that's one thing that I've always uh, highly admired Coach Knight for, among in, uh, many other things. And that was uh, whenever there was an injury, I, I had some serious injuries that occurred to me while I played here. But the, the most important thing was that, that Coach Knight always uh, made sure that, that if the injury was going to cause uh, career-ending uh, situations mm -hmm. for the player, then he was going to make sure that, that the player didn't play. Uh, but if the player could play without adding further injury uh, with maybe a protective device or some type of, of uh, support system there, then he encouraged the, the player to play. And I think it's important because from the mental frame, like you talked yeah. about. Yeah. Uh, maintaining the confidence. Eric, you know, had a great game up in uh, Evanston, coming to home. Uh, it's, it's a springboard for him to come back now and uh, practice during the week and get ready for, for the game. The, uh, the injuries, uh, let me just cite a few that this man played with. He had a foot fracture. I can remember that. You played yes. with a foot fracture. You also had a fractured wrist. You played with that fractured wrist. You finished the entire season with that, and that happened almost midway through the season. Yeah, it was uh, early in the Big Ten yeah. season. I played about three-quarters of the season uh, with a wrist that uh, had to be reconstructed. And then, and then you, had a, you had a lower back. We, uh, they thought at first it was a back spasm, but it turned out to be a fracture there, yeah, too. broken vertebrae. Yeah, so uh, the only reason why I cite this is that uh, uh, we, all, we all know, if we've played any sports at all, we all know what these kind of pains are, but the athlete's the one that has to extend himself beyond that. Speaking of that, at the time we're doing this show, which is uh, at the end of the week, it's, it's um, uh, Thursday, uh, your wife, who is expecting, might well have had the baby by the time this thing is playing. That would be great. She's a day overdue. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a day uh, now. A day right? now, right? Yeah. But uh, you know, I think that uh, you know it, what the great thing is is that we we sent Monica back here mm -hmm. uh, with our daughters uh, to have the baby here in America rather than having it in Italy simply because of the support that uh, was available here mm -hmm. and uh, the communication aspect. And she she's done has been a great mother and a great wife, and uh, I thank God for. Uh, being able to come to Indiana University and, and find a, a wife like my wife Monica and 
uh, the people here uh, throughout Bloomington and Indiana, uh, I really appreciate because uh, being away for 12 years and, and all, it, it seemed like I kept getting further away. It was Detroit and then Utah and then, <laughs> it, you know, I ended up in Italy and uh, after 12 years of coming back, uh, the reception that I've received has just been like I never left before. And uh, that's exciting to come back home like that. Well, Kent, it's just great to have you here. It's great to have an opportunity to talk to you on the show and get back over there and make some money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Chuck, thank All you right. very much for having me. Thanks, Ben, very much. We'll return with more in just a minute. on the subject of choices. When you have a lot of choices, it's a lot easier to make better choices. Indiana National gives you the most and best possible choices because we have more quality products and services than any other bank around so that you can design the plan that fits your financial picture perfectly. Indiana National. More for your money. A lot of communication systems cause more problems than they solve. But Centrex, it's easy to use. And it gives me economy and reliability through the Indiana Bell Network. And as my business grows, and it will, no problem. For the service, the systems, and the solutions that work, call Indiana Bell first. What do the big three coaches pick for refreshment? Coca-Cola Classic. Sprite. Diet Coke. Pick any of the three when you enter the Coca-Cola Final Four contest for a fantastic American Airlines trip to the NCAA playoffs in Seattle. Buy Sprite in a 12-pack can. Send in the wrapper handle with my name on it and your entry form. You could win. Or Diet Coke with my name on it. No, Coca-Cola Classic with my name on it. Enter the Coca-Cola Final Four contest today. Well, it's Michigan at uh, 2 o'clock this afternoon. Up there at Ann Arbor, you won that one. Uh, what do you see now coming back today, Coach? Well, I think it, when we played at Ann Arbor, Chuck, we were able to play in such a way that we were always in the ball game. We were never out of it. We went back and forth from a deficit of four points to uh, leading by seven, and we played in that sphere all mm -hmm. the time. So at no time were we sufficiently ahead of Michigan nor at no time were we far enough behind them to be out of it at that point in the ball game. So it was a game that uh, we were able to have a chance to win and did. And that's essentially, I think, what we always hope for anytime we're playing against somebody uh, that's got the kind of talent that Michigan has. I think that uh, Michigan, uh, since that ball game, uh, has played uh, well and played, uh, and, and played most teams uh, pretty hard, uh, and I think we probably have too. I don't really believe that either team will play today uh, much differently, and by differently I mean in terms of using uh, something else on offense or something else on defense other than what was used in the ball game uh, at Ann Arbor. Uh, we've got to be able to play against Rice. Rice is an outstanding offensive basketball player, and we can't let Rice get away from us, nor can we let their size and strength dominate the game. We're going to have to keep our offense spread, uh, thereby keeping their defense spread to give us the kinds of opportunities that we have to have to get good shots or get to the free throw line. So that will be important to us. And it again comes down to our ability to, to both move without the ball and to handle the basketball without making errors. We cannot uh, put ourselves in a position defensively where Michigan's size is allowed to dominate the backboard. That's the first thing that we have to start with in a game like this, the backboard, and then build out from the backboard. We have to uh, position ourselves defensively so that we can rebound. And we did, I thought, a pretty good job up there of at least keeping the backboard play neutral. We didn't get hurt by the backboard play, and consequently, we found ourselves, as we said a moment ago, in a position where we could win the ball game. All right. 
good luck to you, Coach. Uh, have a good game. Hopefully a successful win, and we'll talk to you later in the week. All right, Chuck. Okay, we'll be back with a final word in just a minute. Offensive play often gets the most attention in basketball. Yet defensive coverage is going to be the key to how well a team does in a game or in a season. Coverage, the right coverage, is just as important for your business needs. And to get the absolute right coverage, you've got to go through Federated Insurance. They have the right report. It's just another way that Federated writes it right. Call Bill Wolf in Crawfordsville and Dave Elliott in Indianapolis. Indiana National on the subject of money. By itself, it's only paper. But in the right hands, it becomes a lot more valuable. Indiana National can help you do so much more with your money. Because we don't see money as paper. To us, it's something that gets you where you want to go. Indiana National. More for your money. Need a little help around the house? Look in the book where you've always found it. Let's see. Roofers. Roofers. Ameritech Pages Plus, the original Indiana Bell Yellow Pages. Need a phone number in a hurry? Hello, Pete's Pest Control. I've got a slight insect problem. There's only one place you know you'll find it. How fast can you get here? Ameritech Pages Plus, the original Indiana Bell Yellow Pages. Well, I think most of you fans recognize by now it's been a very, very interesting year for Indiana, and, and certainly it's been very enjoyable working with his personality this year. And this has been a team that I think he really is enjoying coaching. Now, notwithstanding what might happen today against Michigan, nonetheless, uh, this team has, uh, through great effort and overachievement and some fine talent on this squad, able to pull itself into a position in which it's enjoying right now. So I think, and I hope certainly all of you Indiana fans and at least all of you objective sport fans out there will have time today to sit back and watch this Indiana Michigan game a win today would certainly put Indiana in an excellent position driving down the wire toward the Big Ten championship but it's not over yet uh, nothing is out of the woods as we look at it right now and there are still many other tough games coming up for instance this week, this coming Thursday, over many of these same stations, you'll be able to see Indiana at Michigan State. Judd Heathcote and the Spartans promise to be a very, very tough opponent, and that will be a tough game starting a road trip, which will culminate or climax with a game Saturday against the Minnesota Golden Gophers, who are almost invincible on their home court, Williams Arena. So uh, those are two games that we want to look to as fans. But again, as I said to Coach earlier, looking just one game at a time right now for Indiana. It's Michigan this afternoon. Hope that you'll be with us again next week at the same time on the Bob Knight Show. Cheer hard if you're IU fans. We'll see you next Sunday. So long. Some of Bob Knight's guests will receive the Casio Color TV 400 with 2-inch screen and built-in speaker. Wherever you go, favorite programs and instant replays in the palm of your hand. Casio's TV 400. Sweaters worn by Bob Knight and Chuck Barlow were provided by the General Store, the place for IU apparel. The Bob Knight Show has been brought to you in part by Federated Insurance. Federated writes it right. By Indiana National, where you can get more for your money at 50 locations throughout the metropolitan area. And by Indiana Bell, a member of the Ameritech family of companies. Chantilly lace and a pretty face. You're turning heads when you drive through town, and it's really kind of neat. The 39 complete value makes the world go round. It's Mercury's 50th anniversary celebration. Save $1,600 on Mercury Topaz with cash back and popular equipment package 363A, or 4.9% annual percentage rate financing on Mercury Tracer. Plus, get big savings on other models. Hurry in today and join the celebration. The right style, the right price, right now. What's the secret to pop secret microwave popcorn? 
perfect popcorn popped under perfect conditions. Pop secretly very few unpopped kernels. And it tastes remarkably light and fluffy. Pop Secret from Betty Crocker. It's the only way to pop. The tax clearance sale is on at United Home Furniture. Our entire inventory must be reduced immediately. All prices are sliced so you save money and we save on taxes. This beautiful living room group, only $23 per month. This seven-piece dinette set, only $22 per month. This four-piece bedroom group is only $23 per month. You save money so we don't have to pay taxes on it. We buy direct from factories, no middlemen, nobody beats our prices. The tax clearance sale is on at United Home Furniture. Save today. Catch the excitement. Have three rooms of Horizon Stain Release Carpet installed at an unbelievable $499. Plus, you pay nothing till August. Only at Tim Hogan's. WTTV. For the good times. Live from the Indiana High School Athletic Association headquarters in Indianapolis, we present the pairings for the 1989 Boys State High School Basketball Tourney. Your network sponsors for today's program are Indiana Bell, a member of the Ameritech family of companies. Farm Bureau Insurance, proud corporate sponsor of all IHSAA tournament events. And American Dairy Association of Indiana, your local dairy farmer. Good afternoon, I'm Joe Pate, and on behalf of the Indiana High School Athletic Association, welcome to our program. This afternoon, members of the executive committee of the IHSAA have gathered here in Indianapolis to conduct the draw that will set up the pairings for the 79th annual boys basketball tourney. It will be starting a week from tomorrow and of course will be culminating at Market Square Arena on March the 25th. There are 386 teams entered in this year's tournament. That's the lowest ever. Now let's meet the people who will be working with us on our telecast today. Thank you, Joe. Hello, everybody. I'm Hilliard Gates from WKJG Television in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Now, this year's Fort Wayne semi-state has been moved to South Bend at the beautiful Notre Dame Convocation Center. We're looking forward to a marvelous series of ball games in that area. We could have a champion coming out of the North once again. And I'm Jerry Baker. I'll be covering the teams flowing through the Indianapolis semi. Kentucky Pleasure. 